As it's Alex, and today we're going to be doing an install of the Carbon Miata front grille for the Indy Miata. So let's get started. So this install is actually pretty easy, I would say. It's uh, not that hard to do, and it makes the car look a lot better. Uh, this also isn't the perfect install, so don't take this as a perfect guide. This is just kind of a how-to and overview. So the first thing you got to do is pull the uh, bottom uh, support off of the car. So there's uh, some paneling that connects the car to the under tray of the car. And so there's a few screws. It's just a Phillips head and it's really simple to remove. You just unscrew a few of those. You get a little bit of the under uh, tray off. And then after that, you're going to remove uh, four clips. They're not really not that hard to remove. You just turn the wheel a little bit and then you pull this screw off and the bumper will snap right off. It's really that easy to take the bumper off. I'll get up over here and uh, turn the wheel. Uh, that also makes it really easy. So I'm just going to turn the wheel, do that, and then pull the bumper off. And then after you pull the bumper off, you just pull the four screws off. I may do more of these install videos. Uh, give me some feedback. I'm not sure what I want to do. Uh, so after that, you got to unscrew uh, a Phillips head and pop two clips off. So there's two Phillips head screws and two clips. I just put them down over here. Uh, pardon the mess in the garage. We're rearranging that. This is my dad's garage, so he has better workspace than I do at my house. Uh, the hardest part of this install actually was pulling these light clips out. Like, I could not get them off uh, for the life of me. It was just ridiculously hard to pull these clips off. And uh, it was quite a an issue. So that's probably the hardest part of the install. Uh, if you're struggling with it, just have someone else hold the bumper while you do this. The next thing you have to do is cut the bumper support out. So uh, cutting the bumper support out, you just grab a utility knife, cut it. It might take a few minutes, but cut through it um, just towards the top. Uh, be careful though, you don't want to cut through your actual bumper. Uh, and back to me. As you guys can see, we've got the front bumper off and I've got the actual grill removed. It's pretty simple process. You have to uh, cut the bumper from here. So you gotta cut the bumper support out. Uh, it's optional, but I want the little extra support in the front bumper and I think it'll look better honestly too. So now we're just waiting. I'm gonna get some Plasti Dip. I'm gonna Plasti Dip the front, uh, front bar, support bar, bumper support bar. So this thing right here so it doesn't show behind the grill. So we're gonna clean that up with some alcohol and then we'll go on from there. So here's the final product of the Plasti Dip. Uh, it came out pretty good. It's not the best Plasti Dip shop in the world, but it works. It's behind the bumper so you can't really see it. Uh, pretty much you just push the clips in to push the Carbon Miata bumper in and then you're done. That's pretty much the install. Here's a little uh, time lapse of me reinstalling the bumper. Uh, it took me probably about 15 minutes to, to install the bumper and then I was back in business. Uh, if you guys have any questions or you want to subscribe, leave a comment down below. Thanks, peace, and have a great day. Thanks.